Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So another video on bonding. So let's get moving. Bam! Today we're going to determine molecular geometry number seven. We're going to determine the molecular geometry or shape of phosphorus pentachloride. So two non-metals bonded together. I got phosphorus, that's all by itself, and then a penta, like a pentagon, that gives you the number of chlorides that you have. And so you should have PCL5. Okay, so from that, we should be able to get the Lewis dot structure, and I'm going to refresh you to go look at another video in which we've already made. Okay, and that is drawing Lewis dot structures number seven. We did phosphorus pentachloride, and you should see in your lower screen right over there, the Lewis dot structure for phosphorus pentachloride. From that Lewis dot structure of phosphorus pentachloride, we're going to look at our acts. We're going to look at our central element, the surrounding elements, and the number of lone pairs around the central element. Okay, so the phosphorus is the central element, that is the A. The X, the surrounding elements, are the five chlorines. So how many Xs do you have? There's five, because there's five chlorines. How many lone pairs of electrons do you have on the central element? How many? None. All right, so that's why it's AX5, okay? That's AX5. Okay, now, how many bonding domains and how many non-bonding domains? Okay, you have five bonding domains and zero non-bonding domains. The five bonding domains are the single bonds all around the central phosphorus. And the no bonding domains is, I don't have any lone pairs of electrons on the phosphorus itself. Now, there are plenty of lone pairs of electrons around the chlorines, but that doesn't matter for determining the molecular shape. Okay, all right, so I'm going to hold up a model of this, and this is one of my favorite shapes here, and this is the shape right over here, okay? This is the shape of a five domain with no lone pairs on the central atom, okay? And I want you to take a look at this very carefully here. You really need to take a look at this. We got um, elements at the poles, and I'm going to hold on to those. Those are at the poles, and then we have elements that are in the plane, Okay, and you should see that those are in the plane. So that should give you an idea of what this shape is. And based on AX5, you should memorize the name of the shape that's associated with AX5, or you should memorize the shape that's with five bonding and zero non-bonding domains. And that, of course, is trigonal bipyramidal. So make sure that you understand this. There's the uh, pyramid, that is, there's a pyramid here at the top, there's a pyramid at the bottom. That's why it's by two pyramids. And it's a trigonal base, one, two, three, and it's a trigonal planar base. So you have a trigonal base and a pyramid on the top, trigonal base and a pyramid below. And that's why it's trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, very important that you understand that bipyramidal structure here. Okay, and you should see the elements within the plane. Okay, you should also understand the bond angles here between these here, and we're going to discuss that in another video, but they are truly plainly obvious, especially within the plane, and even at the poles, it's pretty obvious. Okay, well, that was another crazy hat video, and I got a great hat for you, making lots of sound. All right, have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time for more cool chemistry video.